Welcome to the Just In Time Learning for the fifth six weeks. I've used a lot of RAS Plus in the curriculum preview, so I know you've been trained on your campuses. We had some, uh, the, the coaches did some, and then we had the, the company come in. But I just wanted to show you where I got a lot of the different things. So when I went to, when you go to RAS Plus, when you log in, this is what it looks like. When Where I found the, the standards, you can either go to Teacher Corner here and click U.S. Standards, or you can go to the U.S. State Standards right here and then um, we know that we're in Texas I click on Texas and then let's go to first grade and I would like the teaks and then click go I filter that once I do that it comes up and it populates all the standards that uh, RAS Plus has, cor has uh, correlated to their materials so one of our main standards our lead standard is figure 19d so I'm going to click on down look at all the different ones they don't have things for all standards but as I go through and I want to find and the those standards are usually at the very very end oh, okay here we go there they are so figure 19d is our lead standard is about making inferences so right underneath it I have a link that goes to the materials correlated to this standard then it will populate all of the different materials that RAS Plus has for making inferences under that figure 19 and you really have to kind of check because sometimes um, it's not a true match but for the most part I think it gives us a great great um, ability to, um, to to see that so one of the things that I did for you is I went in and um, I looked, let's take a look. So any of these, let's just say, okay, we want to be able to um, look at, let's first look at fiction. So we could look at A Dog for Sally. Let's, it's a level G. Okay, let's take a look at what, what it has for them. Okay, so here you could take a look and you could actually do this, but then... Um, this one is actually a benchmark book so let's go back so see I didn't you have to kind of go and figure out what what works for you okay so let's do a different one okay let's do a pocket park for for tiny <clears throat> so here we have a book what you could do is it is a guided reading lesson but you could also use it for a um, a mini lesson you could actually project the book right here and talk about read the book together and then actually look at um, what it has to do look at this right here um, this one is working on problem and solution uh, if you're working take a look at all the different things that it has that goes with it I love too that it has paired books like that you could uh, mm -hmm. download and look at the different paired books that go with this particular one so you see that you also have you could read it during you could um, and then look at the comprehension then it has worksheets that go with it. I, I don't really like the worksheets so much, but you might could then have a discussion around it. I do love the discussion cards when you open them. Take a look at what they look like. Okay, so you could actually have the children reread this story in independent reading time and then have them answer these questions. You can make a discussion group around it where these kids are actually reading and discussing because discussing is such a great thing to do with kids. So that's just um, one of the things that, that you can see. The other thing is you have like it during shared reading. You could do shared if you type in shared reading because we need shared reading. Okay. So you're going to click on shared reading and then level one and here are all the books for shared reading. Uh, this is one that actually I put into your curriculum preview which actually also works on uh, really understanding their connections to a fable. So let's just take a look at that one because that's the one that I and it's um, so here it is. Uh, it has what I love is it has a five day lesson plan that you can look at and I actually showed that on the curriculum preview so you don't have to follow it but it just kind of gives you some suggestions about what are some of the things that you could really teach from this book projecting it up use the projectable as your shared book so you have a projectable and then you print the copies of the books for students to read during independent time and so there's lots of great things so you have a text to connections where you would be hitting on 1.7a and then the next day you could use the same book and make inferences draw conclusions on on that um, and then you could 
uh, just do a lot of great things with it. So say, take a look. I, I really love it. Then after that, then it kind of walks you through each day. You don't have to do it per se exactly how, but it's just giving you some great things to do. Uh, I love there's uh, printable cards. These are great too. There we go. Look at the cards. <clears throat> I love this because you could actually, um, this is some vocabulary words, so the kids could really have some really neat thing and, and you know, do some stories with these vocabulary words around it. So, great. If you don't know about book, projectable books, let me show you what I'm talking about. This is what you click on. You, even if you don't have a smart board, you can use this. And then it actually tells you, use this tool to underline the name of the book. So you go over here and you get the tool and you get the drawing pen. And so you would have kids come up and say, oh, this is that. Now circle the name of the author. So here's the author. I'm going to circle the name of the author. And then what is the job of the author? So it's giving you prompts to do with your kids. Um, so it's really just a great way to introduce books and to do that during your, your mini lessons. So that's some uh, really great things to do with it. Those are just a couple of the things that it does. Um, let's see if they have a comprehension packet packet comprehension passages. Um, I don't know if they have them at first grade, but let's take a look. Let me search for those. Okay, let's see if there's one at, six, at first grade. Okay, there is. So here's some comprehension passages that that you, just little passages that you can put up on the, uh, project them up and really talk about different things, author's purpose, uh, making inferences. And so here's one that you could use this time. So here's the teacher lesson plan. Here's the, the passage that you would model it with. And then you would give this for them to practice it during that day, during independent reading time. So, and then as you go down, they have graphic organizers to help you with those reading responses. So um, amazing things in RAS Plus. That's just only like the tip of the iceberg, but I hope that helps you to understand where I've got a lot of the different things that are in the curriculum preview. So I hope that you're using your RAS Plus and, and really using it to the full extent that it will give you. I hope this has been a great just-in-time learning.